hi guys welcome to my channel i'm yinky it's been a while though i posted a video on this channel due to some projects i embarked on lately but thank god we are back and better and uh, we really want to appreciate all our existing and returning subscribers thanks for your love and we appreciate you and today we shall be making a lace-up dress with eyelets or grommets and i shall be teaching you how to do that in this video so the picture of what we want to make is on the screen so i'll be teaching you how to use the grommet setting and you will see the the grommet part later so the this is the eyelet plier and i also have underneath it the soldering iron for puncturing hole because there are some pliers that has that um, function but if you do if you if you don't have that type of plier you can get your soldering iron to make the hole very very neat and i will start with the pattern drafting input the neckline so because it's the kind it's a kind of neckline that will have um, a yoke on top i don't want the neckline to the neck depth to be too deep it's by the depth is by one inch and the width is by three inches so here is the lace up um, underlay the spacing of the lace up underlay is um, 2.5 on the upper part and one on the lower part so i want a v-shape for the lacing the lacing style depends on your choice so i want a v-shape for my lacing so that's why i'm making 2.5 spacing at the upper so here another design that can be here can be circular or oval shape it depends on your choice also so i'll be preferring the circular shape because i want a kind of o shape at the back so i have used my free hand to do that and the next thing is to input the arm o curve and after that input the dart the dart intake is also one inch dart intake so after i've done that the next thing to do is to input the measurement so the measurement has been input then afterwards i'll go ahead if i still want to put the oval shape i can use my french curve to do that as you can see as i place this french curve i can use it to bring out the oval shape so whatever shape you desire you can put here and it will come out nice afterwards so the next thing to do is to input sewing allowance on the lower part on the half length i mean on the shoulder also half inch sewing allowance and also on the arm o half inch sewing allowance also then the side seam i can add 1.5 inches or 2 inches for the sewing allowance on the side seam so having done that I am done with the pattern drafting and I think I'm almost done then the next thing is to go ahead and cut it out so after I have cut it out so just pay attention to the way you're going to separate the pattern right away the first thing to do is to remove the center back from from the design that will make the V shape so I'll first of all take out the V shape and it will serve as the lacing underlay. It will be under the lace up dress. So after I have done that, the yoke, I'm going to separate the yoke from the bodies. Then remove this part, the O shape that I said I want for the back. So this will be open. This will be open. The back will be opened like so. Then I will remove the yoke so just take note of how i removed it then this 
three pieces will be added. I'm going to add sewing allowance to it. So that back, I'm going to add sewing allowance of uh, sewing allowance to the upper part that will be joined to the yoke, and also take note on this underlay. Add half inch up here, and the side will be added. You are going to add two inches or one and a half inch to this part. So I'm adding two inches to it on the down part also that will go inside the skirt. I hope you get that. So this underlay, you need to add enough allowance to it so that you won't be short of allowance. So having done that, I'm going to cut two pieces for this. So I'll be cutting two pieces for this. So I'll go ahead now, since I've added the sewing allowance brightly, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Then cut another piece for this to be able to turn the, the um, right side. So this is the net. I have cut like two pieces for each side. So this is the underlay. I have turned it and after turning it, I will leave a space here to bring it out to the right side. And I'll go, I'll go ahead and iron on it nicely so that it will be very neat. So having done that, I'll just keep it one side, then go and prepare the back bodies. So this is the eyelet plier this is the eyelet plier you have a protruding mouth and we have a flat mouth this is the flat mouth you can see the protruding one and this is the ring the the eyelets so on the eyelet we have the flat part and the protruding part so the flat part will go with the flat part on the plier and the protruding with the protruding on the plier. I hope you get that. So you can as well go ahead and put it in the fabric and use the plier and apply the plier. I think that will be easier. So on the fabric also, this is where I want to put the eyelets. I'm going to mark one inch like so. And on the other side also, I'll mark one inch. And after I've done that, I will go ahead like this also i'll begin to mark one inch spacing also so horizontal i'll mark one inch horizontally and vertically i will mark one inch so the spacing for the highlight is one one inch so that's what i'm marking you can make it three quarter it depends on how close you want the highlight rings to be so whatever i do on one side just make sure you duplicate it on the other side to make sure it matches with each other so after i have done that on those points i will apply my soldering iron i'll just make sure the soldering iron is plugged to power source and it's very very hot so be careful while you are puncturing it very very hot and after i have punctured it then i can place my eyelids so I will be placing the highlight, the flat part will enter through the right side. So the flat part, so the protruding part will enter through the right side so that the protruding part will, will, will be on the wrong side. This is the wrong side and the protruding part, you can see it, that's what I'm touching. This is the flat part, this is the right side. So I allow the shock to show so that you'll be able to see it very well. So after I have done that, then I'll place my plier. The protruding part will hook the protruding part on the highlight and the flat part on the highlight will hook the flat part on the plier. So having done that, I'll press it, press it and the job is done. So having pressed it, the highlight is So you can see the eyelet is there right away on the fabric and it's, it has stick to the fabric and nothing can remove it. It's very, very neat. But let me tell you that the eyelet is not as neat as the grommet. So when we get to the grommet part, you will understand what I'm saying. So I will continue the process for all the points that I have marked. So I will use the soldering iron to puncture. And after I have punctured it, I've created the hole neatly. I'll place my 
eyelid. You can see how I'm placing it. This is the right side. From the right side, I'll push it inward. So I'll just push it inward and it will come out on the wrong side. Then afterwards, you can see it. When it has come out very well, I'll just make sure that the hole is not too big because if the hole is too big, you will spoil the whole fabric. After the eyelet has been placed, you can now apply force on the plier. So it is the force that you apply on the plier that makes it hook the, the fabric and makes it stick to the fabric. So this is the second one that I have made. You can see how it is, the wrong side and the right side. So I have done the two sides. As you can see, I have done the two sides and this is the underlay. This is the underlay. So I will just put it under as the name implies. So after I have put it, then I'm going to stitch the underlay like so. So I will run a stitch at the back of the eyelet to make in order, the reason why we are running the stitch at the back of the eyelet is for lacing to be possible. Because if you are not very careful, you will end up attaching it in a way that you want to lace up your dress and it won't be possible. So, make sure you run the stitch at the back of the eyelet like so. Open it up like so and uh, you are good to go. So, after I have done this, the next thing to do is to bring the other side so the other side you are not going to stitch it to the other side you can use your press button for this other side you can just put that press button in two or three places to just hook it whenever you want to wear your dress or you can use hook and high like that one that we put in our bra so you can also use your plaster fabric plaster also can do the job so having done that this is the part that the skirt will be attached to so i'll be showing you that when i come back from this break do you desire to be a professional fashion designer in just few weeks then what are you waiting for enroll at yinki kuto academy today our online, offline and physical trainings are open in the following classes. Advanced class for 4 weeks, intermediary class 8 weeks and beginner class for 20 weeks. For inquiries, please call 0805-794-4477 or 0903-218-4192. You can equally connect to us on our various social media platforms at Yinki Couture. Yinki Couture, home of dressmaking techniques. You are welcome back. So this is the, the skirt is the Ankara fabric and the upper part that we are going to attach the skirt to. So we have the zipper allowance. Starting from the zipper allowance, remember there is one inch spacing on the lacing at the half length. On if you if you did not forget on our pattern drafting, that's how we made it. That there is one inch spacing and on one side so you are going to leave that one inch spacing before you start attaching it to the upper bodies so and that's what i have done here i hope you get that so after i have attached the skirt to the upper bodies leaving the one inch spacing and the zipper allowance this is what i have i will do that on the both sides Whatever I have done to one side, I will repeat the same process for the other side. As you can see, that's where I'm touching. This is the zipper allowance and the spacing of one inch is left also. So, I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other side also. Leaving the zipper allowance and also the one inch spacing, making two inches altogether. So, I'll just mark it with my chalk. And start from that point so this is what we drafted on the pattern 
and we are repeating the same thing on the fabric so i'm going to match the that with each other on the fabric on the skirt and also on the upper bodies so i will attach it like so i think it's very very easy it's not something difficult at all so after i have done that this is what i have i can go ahead and fix my zipper and uh, we are going to have our back almost ready so our lace up back dress the our lace up dress is almost ready as you can see so i will just go ahead and fix my zip and after the fix the zip has been fixed this is what we have as you can see this is what i have and the this is by the time I zip it up now, everything will come out very, very neat. So, having done that, this is what we have. This is what we have. The zipper has been fixed neatly. Then I'll just bring, just pull over my underly. The lace up underly will just come inside the reason why the allowance must be enough is so that it will go inside the skirt so and this is what we have already you can see it's very beautiful and lovely so i can go ahead and do the lacing right away so this is the yoke as you can see i can put a button here or i can as well put a rope there so this is the grommet part and uh, I have punctured the hole with my soldering iron, as you can see. And I have done like three grommets. So I'll be showing you how to do that. We have the rings here, the grommet and the watcher. So the watcher is like a flat ring, while the grommet is just like the our highlight that we use. So I'll first of all put the grommet and in inside the hole the way we place the highlight the former highlight that i just did i'll put the grommet and place it on the grommet setting tool so after then after i have placed it like so then i'll place the watcher afterwards then i'm going to press it down like so press it down like so so after i press it down like that it's you can see the result is very neat it's neater than eyelets that's the difference between this it's neater than using the plier so i'll go ahead and place another one so the watcher will be placed afterwards so i'll drop the watcher on it the watcher is at the back not at the front is at the back of the the wrong side of the fabric so then i'll be placing the grommet in through the right side the grommet is placed in through the right side and the watcher will be placed on the wrong side like so so i'll just continue the process this is the watcher i'll just drop the watcher on it like so then press it down with my grommet setting tool so so that's the difference between the grommet the, you can find different sizes for your grommet bigger sizes than this are available for grommet so and it's always neater it does not scatter at the back so this is the result for the grommet that i did and if you have learned anything so far in this tutorial please give us a thumbs up like and also share this tutorial thanks and god bless you bye